to download SignMaker onto your local device, such as your computer, your smartphone, or your tablet, go to the directory page for SignMaker and find the download link that is directly above the orange umbrella on that directory page. When you click on this download link, it will provide the files here that you see where my mouse is circling. These files on your local device, such as your computer, phone, or tablet, will provide you the program privately so that you actually do not have to access the internet once you have downloaded the software. How do you begin? You open the downloaded folder which is named SignMaker GH Pages 3 and here as you can see on my computer I have the folder opened and notice my mouse is circling the files that are there. Go to the index.html file, that's the uh, program start button essentially. However, um, you will have to open it within a web browser that is on your local device. For example, on your computer or device you have different web browsers such as Safari, Firefox, Chrome, Internet Explorer, or even Opera. So now you're going to um, click on this, but you have to make sure that it opens up in one of those web browsers. So in, in my case, I'm going to right click on the HTML file, and I'm going to go down to Open With, and I'm going to choose to open it with Safari. So I click like that, and now it opens up in Safari. Here we go, <laughs> as you can see. I now have SignMaker open, but oh my gosh, there's nothing in the dictionary over here to the left. That's because when you download it, you're downloading an empty local dictionary for you to start writing your own signs and saving them. This is your private dictionary, and it is not loading in any dictionary that was pre-written for you. That you can still access up on the web, but here, you are doing your local dictionary, so and you have over here to your right the symbols that you need to start writing. And just to check, if you look under the More tab and go to System and look at the languages that are there, <clears throat> you can choose a new user interface. It doesn't have to be English. You could go over here to the blue and choose another spoken language, like um, I'll choose French right now, Francais. And as you can see up at the top, the word sign maker changed from English to French. And over to the right, there are words in French. But, the, but keep the symbols ISWA 2010. That's important so that you have every symbol available to you. And in the dictionary, <clears throat> it says my local dictionary. Keep that too because that is um, your local area where you're going to be saving your signs, no matter what your sign language. So when you want to start changing the signs that are in the dictionary, you go to Edit. You can also add and write new signs here. And if you want to save them to your dictionary, you click on the Dictionary tab. So you have an Edit tab for writing new signs and adding and changing signs, but you have to use the Dictionary tab to save them. Once you have signs in your dictionary, you can search them. And under More, you will be able to save them as a ping or an SVG. And there's also preferences that will give you a grid. For example, here, if I click on Grid 1 or Grid 2, look how it gives me a grid to work with. Going back to Edit, how do I start a sign? Well, I'm going to start with number 1 in American Sign Language, and I dragged a sign over from the symbol palette, placed it in my editing box, and hey, I like this sign, so I'm going to click on Dictionary, and I'm going to give it a term, like spoken language, I'm going to say it's number one in my dictionary, so I type the number one, and then under Dictionary, I go Save New Entry, and wow, 
I have my first sign in my local dictionary, which I downloaded.